PARP inhibitors will be the next drugs approved for prostate cancer, uh, and I think it'll happen in 2019. There are already phase three trials that are completed that not only will show that these drugs are effective in, in BRCA mutated and certain other DNA repair deficiency uh, populations, uh, which we've already seen, the Mateo et al. New England Journal paper with the Laparib, um, and in some of these other phase two studies of newer agents. Uh, but importantly, we're going to see comparative studies coming out where we have Olaparib versus the physician's choice of abiraterone, enzalutamide, or dostaxel, whichever one they haven't had. Um, those studies are really going to be important in benchmarking. Uh, in fact, they'll be the first sort of directly comparative data that we're going to have about um, some of our existing strategies compared to a new strategy. Uh, so I think this will make a huge impact. Unfortunately, it's only 20 or 25 percent of patients who will have the right mutation, but for those patients, it's really going to be a very, very nice additional tool that they'll have at their uh, utilization.